<risa> Ahora, niña bonita, te vamos a matar. Oh, y ahora, ¿quién podrá ayudarme? Yo, el Chapolín Colorado. No contaban con mi astucia. All right, so here. I have another Chapulín Colorado. This time, in the DC EU movie verse, I did one using a DC Classics figure. And then I did another one using a Marvel Legends figure. And now I made one in the DCEU universe. What if the DC Warner Brothers movie studios decided to make Chapulín Colorado into DCEU in a very dark and grim version. I used the, I think it was the Adam figure. I uh, did a head swap with uh, the Ray, I think. Removed the Mohawk. Gave him the that figure came with two heads. I gave him the smiley face and then gave him a full repaint, flat black base coat, and then, uh, and then dry brushed silver, then red, and then gave him the yellow accents, and then all of the mechanical parts. I gave him the liquid chrome paint and then uh, used future floor polish to uh, keep the chrome shiny uh, painted the CH and then decided to use regular pins uh, for the antenna and I painted one tip red and the other yellow and here I have the DCEU version of Chapulín Colorado. Uh, if you don't know who he is uh, he's a uh, Mexican superhero from a show called Chespirito um, he had his own show in the 70s called Chapulín Colorado. He's also the uh, inspiration for the Bumblebee Man from The Simpsons. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Wanted to make a DC version, DC EU version. Uh, and then that way he can join these guys. DC Universe. I was, I was going to sell him, but I like him too much. I'm going to keep him. So I got my Justice League with Chapulín, Colorado. Oh, yeah. Sígame en los buenos y no contaba con mi astucia. Thanks for watching.